Hey, what is up guys? BK Bossman here and today I am bringing you Black Ops 2 amazing gameplay on Nuketown. Uh, I'm using a PDW 57 with some awesome kill streaks and uh, I got a lot of kills. I think I get like 59 kills this game. But uh, anyway, I want to start the story because this may take a little bit, not that long though. But uh, this is going to be the start of my new series called Life Stories, I guess. I don't know. Uh, you'll see in the title if I change it or not, if I think of something more cool and more so sophisticated because that's how I do. I'm a sophisticated m -b person, you know what I mean? So for real, yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay, so this life story is going to be the time that I ate a pack of cigarettes. Yes, I was retarded when I was a child, and I put everything in my mouth, including, you know, you know I'm talking about, yeah, lollipops. Yeah, I put lollipops in my mouth, but, uh, yeah, the time I ate a pack of cigarettes, um, I was kind of really young, I don't really remember it, but I always have stories of or heard stories of all the retarded things I did as a child and this was one that always that was always told to me so I was like one or two years old and my mom and dad smoked of course of course they're stupid and I had to smoke ruin your lungs why don't you and pretty much there was a pack of cigarettes on the table and as a child I guess I was curious and I decided to shove the death maker things or whatever call them cigarettes whatever you want to call them into my mouth and eat them well my mom once she found out started to flip she's like oh my god you're gonna die oh my god ian don't die on me ah, ah. and then i was like bitch what you talking about except i i didn't say that because i was a kid but so yeah she started flipping and then i was fine like I don't know if I got sick. They said I didn't get sick, but still my mom was like, Oh my god, Ian, <laughs> you're such a good child. Don't die. You're so amazing and better than every other child in the world. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, I know. But then once I started to be fine, she was like, oh, whatever, go away. And then I was like, wow, thanks. But pretty much, I ate a pack of cigarettes. And then, like, that's what? What's in a pack? Like 20 cigarettes? 20, 20 cigarettes? That's a... I ate 20 cigarettes. 20 cigarettes. 20 things of tobacco are in a one-year-old stomach now you want to know what happened to me I got severely hyper severely hyper so hype like my mom literally told me I ran on the couch and we had a beanbag chair next to my couch so I ran up on the couch literally I've never done this before I turned my back did a backflip onto the beanbag and I hit the wall and I missed the beanbag completely like I don't I don't know how I missed it was a giant beanbag chair it was ginormous like it was two times the size of me and I missed I backflipped so far I launched myself I've never backflipped in my life I've never known how to backflip all I did was those little simple backflips on that couch where I land on my back but I literally she told me she watched me do it I jumped dead on stood on the arm of the couch backflip propelled myself like 20 million feet in the air more like three and I flew the wall was like seven feet away from the couch I saw I like landed almost on my feet and then I like stumbled back and slammed the wall and then um I was like when she was telling me this I was like shut up you must be stupid and then she's like no and she said she had it on video which I don't know how because it randomly happened, but she's probably lying. But if she ever, if we have that on video, I will definitely post that on my channel because that on there, that would be amazing for you guys to see. And then she said after I got up, I was like crying a little bit because of course I was a kid, so it hurt, and I because I kind of flew into a wooden wall. So I got up. She said I like had a little cut on my elbow, which I don't know how because it was like a soft. Well, a smooth wall, but I got up. I low cut. She patched that up, and then I went and did it again. I did, except this time it was a front flip. So you can imagine a front flip. You normally, if you mess up, you land on your stomach, right? Well, that's what happened. Except this time, this time I landed dead on the beanbag chair, and so I didn't get hurt. But then she said after that I like ran around like a retard. It, it's kind of like I don't know. It's like I I was high on meth. Like, I guess, I guess when you eat tobacco or eat a pack of cigarettes, you get high on meth, I guess, when you're a kid. I guess that happens. I don't, I don't really know. But, uh, so, 
I guess this is the end of episode one of Life Stories. Uh, this one was actually kind of dull, I think. But uh, next episode, I think I'll talk about about the time I shoved a bell up my nose. Hmm. So yeah. Um. If, so if you wanna, second episode will be about the time I was a kid, like in kindergarten or daycare, and I found a bell and shoved it straight up my nose. Now it may not seem that much to you, but uh, yeah. There's a lot in that story, a lot of funny stuff, a lot of hurtful stuff for me. So, um, also, mm, I actually forgot, nah, I don't care, I'll tell you another one. Third episode will be about the time I severely burned myself. So guys, I guess, thanks for watching, like, comment, subscribe, uh, stay tuned for episode two and many more, many, many more episodes to come. So guys, as always, be a boss.